the time to go for no deal, Master. As they arrived for their marathon cabinet meeting, ministers were given a report detailing the disruption of a no deal Brexit. It may have had an effect. Eight hours later, Theresa May made a statement saying she would be requesting another extension to the Brexit deadline and a new approach. So today I am taking action to break the logjam. I'm offering to sit down with the leader of the opposition and to try to agree a plan that we would both stick to to ensure that we leave the European Union and that we do so with a deal. What we need to focus on is our future relationship with the EU. The ideal outcome of this process would be to agree an approach on a future relationship that delivers on the result of the referendum that both the Leader of the Opposition and I could put to the House for approval and which I could then take to next week's European Council. The current withdrawal deal cannot be changed, but she is willing to compromise on the future relationship with Europe. Jeremy Corbyn's party wants a customs union at least. It could mean she's turning towards a softer Brexit. That could upset many in her own party, and it puts pressure on Corbyn to work with her in the national interest. We will meet the Prime Minister. We recognise that she has made a move. I recognise my responsibility to represent the people that supported Labour in the last election and the people who didn't support Labour but nevertheless want certainty and security for their own future. If they cannot agree, May says she would agree to the House of Commons offering alternatives that she would abide by. She hopes this process can secure a deal before the UK has to take part in European elections on May the 22nd. A new deadline should the EU agree to a new extension. Although some may doubt her motives, this is a new development. It's a sign that Theresa May cannot pass her deal through Parliament without the help of the main opposition party. For Labour, it's a challenge to get involved in the process of Brexit, even if doing so comes with huge risks. Simon McGregor with TRT World, Westminster.